Pamela Anderson attended the 20th Zurich Film Festival on Saturday and looked effortlessly stylish as she spoke about her new movie, The Last Showgirl. The 57-year-old Baywatch star dazzled in a white tassel jumpsuit while discussing her most recent endeavor and admitting, I just want to keep working and do more, and I am inspired to do more. The actress, who on Friday night at the film festival took up the Golden Eye Award for Best Film, accessorized her ensemble with plain brown heels and pulled her blonde hair down into a low bun. It's exciting, she said, adding that occasionally you need that support before trying your hardest and hoping that others will find it appealing. I am therefore overjoyed that it is striking a chord with people and that they enjoy the movie. Speaking about her choice to accept the part, she stated, After reading the script, I felt like I had to do this movie because it's life or death. I could already hear the voice in my thoughts discussing every detail. I told Gia Coppola that I am the only one who can play this, but all I was thinking was, get me out of here, while wearing my straw hat and overalls. Come on, let's do this. It was so thrilling. After years of concentrating primarily on her showgirl family, Pamela's character Shelley, directed by Gia Coppola, finds herself unsure about what to do next as she attempts to mend a fractured relationship with her daughter. When Dave Bautista, who plays the show's stage manager, informs her that the curtains will fall permanently in two weeks, her entire life is turned upside down. Pamela flaunted her natural beauty while attending the festival's Friday film screenings, going fully makeup-free. The diva stunned everyone with her immaculate complexion as she walked the green carpet in the set of stunning pictures. She looked chic in a light pink dress that she wore across her shoulders along with a matching shawl. Her pale blonde tresses were pulled back into a ponytail, and she accentuated her height with sharp stilettos. As the star entered the building to accept her Golden Eye Award for Best Film, which comes with a financial prize and an alluring promotional package for its release in Switzerland, she was greeted by a throng of enthusiastic fans. Pamela declared in the previous year that she would begin challenging beauty standards by refusing to wear makeup at public engagements. During a Q&A session for the movie in September, Pamela made light of the fact that she had been getting ready for the movie her whole life. I never felt something so strongly about something as this film, the woman remarked. Just do it, that's what it said, and I did. Thanks to the popularity of her best-selling novel Love, Pamela and her Emmy-nominated Netflix documentary Pamela. A love story, Pamela is enjoying a major career comeback. Ryan White directed the little under two-hour film, which debuted on Netflix in January 2023. The reason behind her absence from the four-part documentary series after Baywatch. Moment in the Sun was revealed in a recent story published in August. Although Pamela isn't in the documentary, according to the source, she was given the chance to be a part of it. According to insiders, Pamela has always valued the impact the program has had on her life and has no problems with any of the original cast members. The only original cast member who isn't in the docuseries is Pamela.